So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a, uh, I don't know what this is called exactly. Alright, so we're out here in the shop and we are putting cylinder heads. Uh, actually just setting up the spring height for the cylinder heads. Um, and installing some seals. So let me kind of show you this. It's pretty cool. So we're setting up the installed heights for the valve springs. These ones have already been done. And we do that by, if you're not familiar, you've got your uh, retainer or the lower seat pocket. And then you go through your shims and you find the correct height. And then for the valve seals, those are, hmm. so these are not the correct ones. Here we go. It's these over here. So these little guys here, I'll show you. So these dudes, they're gonna go down on here and they're gonna slide. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil on this just because I want it to uh, slide down and not tear. And I know there's a little installation tool for this, but I don't have that. Well, what I mean is it's a little, uh, little thing that goes over the valve. But we did make this installation tool because this is so narrow. There's almost nothing to grab here. So my friend machined this up, and it slides right down here like this. And then I'm just going to push like that. And it seats that down on there like that. That's pretty slick. So I will uh, try to show you how I set up this uh, valve spring here. I'm going to set the camera down and let it roll while we take a look at that. So, All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a... Uh, I don't know what this is called exactly, spring pocket thing the spring sits in. And I'm going to go ahead and guess. We're going to start with these two guys here. We're going to throw that on a spring seat. And we're going to put this tool in here. And so this thing's pretty cool. So when you get it in there, you screw it out. And this is 1.678 and it goes all the way to 2. And that gives you so like there's 1.80, 1.81, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're shooting for 1.85 installed height for these springs. So we're going to put that on there. Then we're going to take our valve keepers and we're going to put those in there. And then we're going to screw this guy out. And see where we're at with this. Maybe we're going to get lucky with this guess. No way. So that's, uh, yeah, we're looking like almost two. That's 1.883. 1 1.83. We need, so that means it's too, too tall. We need to make the shim stack taller to make the installed height shorter. So I'm going to pop these guys off of here and we're going to pull that off this and this. And so we're going to find something thicker. So I'm going to go through this pile of shims I got here and let's, I'm first going to measure where we're at. So this stack here is 925 thousandths. So we definitely want to go more than that. So let's try That's 131. That's yeah, that's way too big. That's too much. But let's try it just like that. Okay, let's just try that and see where we're at. This is I am no scientist, so this is kind of 
how I do a little trial and error till we get pretty close and then I can start to dial in what we're going to end up with here. Let's just see where we're at here. All right. Whoop. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wait a minute, that's almost two inches. I forgot the, uh, the seat for the spring, and that adds a lot of thickness. So let's put that in there like it's supposed to be. Now we should be better. Let's see where we're at now. All right, that is, oh, look at that. We're close. That is one, one, eight, six, one. So we need to go just a touch thicker, but we're pretty close. We're pretty close. And maybe some people would say that was fine, but I really, I'm aiming for 1.85. That's what I want. So let's try that again. So I'm going to measure. Again, we're at. Throw that guy out. Eleven sixty-five. So we need just a touch more than that. So maybe we're gonna go with a little thinner one here and add that and see. We need a little more than eleven sixty-five. Okay, that's twelve ninety. Let's try that. And see where we're at. I want to put the biggest one down first. Like that. Remember the spring pocket. Oh yeah, I think we're going to be pretty close. Yep. That's where I want to be. So that is, let me show you what this looks like here. Oops. Can you see that number there? That kind of focus. So we're at 1.4, that's five. We're at like 1.48, 1.49 even. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and leave that one there, but that's how it's done. And it takes a bit of time to get these right, but uh, it's worth the effort. So we're going to do that, but I got to just finish up a couple more and then we can install some valve springs. All right, so I've got them all shimmed out. I have written down, just because I want to keep track of everything on this build, I've written down all the installed heights for intake and exhaust. And now I'm just going to install all the seals. So I'll set this down and see if it doesn't fall over if we can do that. Putting a little oil on them. Stick them on there so we can get them all down. Got a couple of spares, which are not bad to have. OK. 
okay. It's just a matter of, oh, we might need a little love here. There we go. Some of them are tighter than others. Ooh, that one's really loose, actually. Oh, well, that's because it slid on the valve. Actually, yeah, I don't like that one. You have to figure that one out. Something's up there. That one, too. Something's not right there. That one's good and tight. That one's real good. All right, I got two here. I got to figure out what to do. They are not wanting to get tight on there, so never had that happen before but I'll have to figure something out there that's for sure all right and then to install the valve springs uh, this tool here is pretty slick this is from uh, LSM I like these guys they make really nice stuff I'm gonna go ahead and attach this here like this okay just gonna Inspect the spring here, make sure we're in good shape. I'm gonna put the retainer on here. Let me, uh, let me rearrange this camera so you can probably see this a little better. Okay, so now we're gonna compress the spring. Got it a little off. Let's get that a little bit better there. There we go. So it's compressed, now we're just gonna drop the keepers in. There we go. Let it go, that's it. That one is shimmed, seal is installed, and the spring is installed that's what we look like so we're just gonna get the rest got to figure out what to do on these two but uh, otherwise we'll get it back together and uh, get working on some other parts of this motor